Hello and welcome back to my latest SQL Server Quickie. In my SQL Server Quickies 12, 13 and 15 I have already spoken about the various physical join operators that SQL Server offers us. I have covered the nested loop join, the merge join and the hash join. Over the next few months I want to continue this discussion by talking about the logical join operations that SQL Server supports. I want to start this discussion today by talking about the cross join, the simplest join type that every database supports. I want to demonstrate you now on the flip join how a cross join works. Imagine we have two tables, a table A and a table B and we want to perform between both tables a cross join. Imagine we have here three records in table A, we have three records in table B. A cross join just means that SQL Server generates a so-called Cartesian product, means we are just crossing every record with every record. So in our case the result set will be nine records. We are crossing the first record, value one with the first record of the second table, the second record with the third record, we do the same thing with the second record of the first table and the same thing with the third record of the first table and as you can see in sum we have now nine records means we have crossed every record with every record and we have generated the so-called Cartesian product. Let's switch now over to SQL Server Management Studio where I want to show you which things you can accomplish with a cross join in SQL Server. In this demonstration I want to show you how to use cross joins in SQL Server. First I want to show you the semantics of cross joins. We have two tables here. The table sales.currency contains 105 records and the table purchasing.vendor contains 104 records. When you perform a cross join between both tables, the query will return 10,920 records. You just match every row from the outer table with every row from the inner table. When you look at the execution plan, you can also see that SQL Server has chosen a nested loop join as the physical join operator for the cross join. Ironically, SQL Server gives you a warning here about the nested loop operator because you had no join predicate. This is true, but I'm not really happy with this warning because you explicitly requested the cross join. With a cross join you can also self join a table. Self joining means that you join a table with itself. The following query self joins the table sales.currency with a cross join to generate currency pairs. For example, US dollars with euros and euros with US dollars. Cross join can also be used to generate large number sequences. Imagine you want to have a table with 1 million records. This is achieved quite simply by using the functionality of a cross join. In the first step, I generate a table that just stores the digits 0 to 9, and in the next step, I self join this table 6 times with a cross join to generate a result set with 1 million rows that I finally insert into another table for further processing. Quite simple, but effective. In this SQL Server Quickie I have introduced the cross join to you. The cross join is the simplest join type that every database supports. As you have seen, the cross join generates a Cartesian product by matching every row from the outer table with every row from the inner table. I hope that you have enjoyed this SQL Server Quickie and I'm already looking forward to welcoming you next month when I will talk about inner joins in SQL Server. Stay tuned!